troops home. So right now, we're going to begin our program. And we're going to ask her, to, our dear sister to come and introduce our first set of speakers. Excited to be here today. My name is Naira East, an answer organizer. And we are really excited to introduce our first speaker. Please give a warm welcome for Lynn Jackson with Muslim Solidarity Community in Albany, Project Salam. Welcome, my name is Lynn Jackson. I'm from Albany, New York, and I represent Project Salam. We are here today because the U.S. government is engaged in wars abroad against Muslims. In the same way at home, the U.S. government is engaged in an unjust campaign against innocent Muslims. Our government has shredded the Bill of Rights. It uses secret evidence to target Muslims for preemptive prosecution, that is, prosecution before any crimes have been committed. Hey, nice to see all your beautiful faces out here today. I want to thank Answer for letting SDS come and speak and give our spiel about what's going on in the student movement right now. Students for Democratic Society is an organization that goes back to the 60s, um, a great uh, integral part of the student movement, working on civil um, civil rights, affirmative action, as well as on an integral part in ending the war in Vietnam. And so we're back again. The same power that has led the, the war in Vietnam and against the working class popular movements has not left. They're still in power today. And in January of 2006, high school and university students reorganized SDS as there continued to be a great need for a powerful and united student movement. Not only around the issues of the imperialist wars, but the attacks that those powerfully rich continue to bring on people of this country as well. These attacks that afford the rich and powerful the luxuries that they desire. Sisters! Today we are here because we stand with the people of Palestine, the people of Iraq, the people of Afghanistan, and we stand with our brothers and sisters that are being sent around the world to slaughter other poor and working people around the world. We are here to say to, to President Obama across the street here that we will not fight for his wars anymore, that these wars are illegal and immoral, and we will end them because a mass movement of the people in the streets will end them. When we refuse to fight, we will end these wars. Thank you. Please! 